What's up, world? It's me, Nez. Welcome to Nez Telly. Thank you so much for coming by. If this is your first time here, my name is Nez, and I'm here to try and give you suggestions on books that you could read. Like, if you're out here trying to reach your reading goals, but you don't know where to start, come here and find out the book you should read and what you should do with yourself. So, basically, today's book is... Okay, sorry. If you're returning, welcome back, okay? If you haven't already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get more and more, like, two new books every week okay every monday and every friday i'm going to be discussing a new book that i have read that you could also read so yeah every monday and friday i'm available for you to get anything that you want book wise and this month we're celebrating african month so this book basically i told you guys right right last um last week or was it two weeks ago when i was talking about becoming nigerian where i mentioned um a book called um becoming nigerian i've already said that by, by Elnathan, Elnathan john and I, I told you about a site that I went to and I saw this book. The site is called AfricanArguments.org. I'm looking at my laptop right now because I don't want to mistake it like I did the last time. AfricanArguments.org. Basically, they have a list of, I think there are like 10 books or 12 books. Put down African books that you can read right now that you will get a lot from. So check it out. Like Just do a, a, a small search and you find, you'll find a list of African books that you can look at. And today, again, I'm reading another Nigerian book. <laughs> And this book, I got this book from the um, same place. It's called My Sister the Serial Killer. Now, I have to look at this to be able to get her, her last name well. Olaika Bright Wet. Bright White. Bright Wet? I don't know how to pronounce this thing. I listened to it on Audible. It was available on Scribd. This book is... <clears throat> okay, something interesting happened with this book, right? Two times I tried to read the book when I was about to go to bed. I think the mistake was I didn't center my mind well. I don't know. Do you, have, you, have you ever seen my videos where I talked about achieving your reading goals? Okay, I'll, I'll link them in the description box so you can check them out if you're interested. So, basically, right, uh, this, um, this uh, book was... I, I tried to listen to it like two times and I slept off the two times. I was probably very tired, but like I'll start... I always remember the first part. The first part is very catching, right? And I will sleep off and then I'll start again. But basically, this book shocks me. Like, I'm like, what in the world am I listening to? <laughs> okay, so basically, it's a, it's a story set in Lagos, but it sounds a little too Western. But let me say, it's a story set, set in Lagos about two sisters. One is older than the younger sister. The younger sister basically has this problem that I can only refer to as a mental problem that is making her to kill men that she dates. Now, this man is like a, this, this lady is like a man magnet. Like, if she does a hand like this, every all the men will just go oh what is it what is it what is it? she goes oh my head is spinning i'm like oh what is it let me buy you panadol let me buy you parastamol let me buy you i don't know whatever man so she's that kind of person she's like a man magnet she does <coughs> it will be like oh she has a cold fana 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 lie down with your head okay she's that kind of person her mom is like that with her everybody in her life is like that with her so like the girl basically has this universe all by herself that she doesn't understand a lot of things don't hit her as a reality but the problem is that she's actually killing men in her lives like literally she does so it's like i'm not going to this is all i'm going to say about this book this is so it's like if you want to hear more you might as well just shut it up but please now don't shut up okay stay stay listen okay but basically the story is told from the older sister's point the older sister that knows that she does these things so it's like some very creepy strange things happen like it's it's very out of like it's nigeria like even when i was trying to explain it to my king like okay this is what this book was about she's like Okay, things like that don't happen in Nigeria. But do we know if they happen or if they don't happen? We don't know. You know, and somehow she's been doing it and been going free because she's so oblivious. But this her younger sister has become very bitter and very mentally skewed too to the fact that these things happen. This is all I'm going to tell you about this book. Is it worth the read? Yes. Will you get confused? Maybe, because I was confused. Like, I was thinking, you know how it is, you're reading this book, you're like, okay, fine. At the end, it's gonna be, there's going to be one crazy clincher that will make it the... That didn't happen. It was pretty much the, like... This book is <laughs> is a brain, you know, there's a reason why it's on this list. This is a brain, it's a mental, it's a mental screen book. But I love, like, I like, I like the way it, okay. Let me talk about this I like about this book. I read it on Audible. This is the first time I am reading a Nigerian book by a Nigerian author that the, that the person that read the book was also Nigerian. <laughs> Olayinka Breath White. I didn't get the name of the person that read it for you. But please, I clap, oh. Tell the person I clap for her too. This book, the person I read it, the person spoke Yoruba. The, the words were said correctly, the names were call, called correctly. Not this idea of what the African language sounds like. And I really liked that. I am so thankful for that <laughs> and all that. But really, it's available on Scribd. 
Uh, Roving Heights actually did a thing where they were they were giving it out for free. I don't know if that's still happening. Check out Roving Heights on Instagram, okay, and find where, whether they have it. But the book is actually like it's a very popular book. Apparently, a lot of people are like crazy about this book. It came out last year, so you can check it out on Roving Heights. Check it out on I think Pataba. Then check it out on Amazon, Audible, and then Script, which is where me I read it. The book is I think it's worth the read. I like I can't wait for you to read it and come and tell me about it. I can't wait if you've read it before you come and tell me what you think too. Like this book is. <sighs> I'm in shock from this book <laughs> but it's totally worth it and it's like a four-hour book i finished it in a day literally i finished it a few day, days ago really i'm just being lazy by talking about it today i finished it days ago four-hour book very small sharp sharp but it's a beautiful book it's worth like it's a very different mental space and i like it really so um it's a short video today like i knew it would thank you so much for checking in hope you're taking out time to subscribe please share this thing so that more people can talk about this book and talk about whatever and please don't forget two new videos every week okay so basically it it you're going to get eight books you're going to get some suggestions of eight books that you can read from this channel every month come on i think it's worth it <laughs> thank you so much for checking up okay have fun